for copy and complete the following table. So here, first y is equal to 3 over 2 sine 3x. We know the front one here is the amplitude. So this one is equal to a sine bx plus c, right? So we know that in front of the this one is amplitude. So this one amplitude is 3 over 2. And then b, so we know that to get a uh, to get period is equal to so for sine and cos so since we know for sine this one is 360 and cos this one is 360 sine and cos this one is 360 divided by b you get the period but then for tangent you see here the repeating part is so here you have this one is 90 this one is 270 so this one is up and down. So this one is repeating, repeating. So for this one, it's 180 divided by B to get period. And for this two, is 360 divided by B to get period. So here you see here, B is 3. That means for sine 360 divided by 3, you will get the period which is 120. So this one is 120. So translation, if it's going up or down, so the C is 0. See here, this one is actually plus 0. So translation is 0. Okay, now sketch the graph. So the period is 120. So we see here, so 120. So the sine graph is something like this. So this one, this one, right? Where this one is 120. That means this one is 60. And this one graph wants up to 180 because pi is 180. So this one is supposed to be 180. So this one is supposed to be like this. So this one is sine 3x. So since we have 3 over 2, then this one would be 3 over 2. This one would be negative 3 over 2. So this one is y is equal to 3 over 2 sine 3x. So this one is 180 or pi. So this one would be just change the number using pi. Okay, so this is the graph. So, number 2, y is equal to tangent 2x plus 1. So, y is equal to tangent 2x plus 1. So, the amplitude is that none. Why? Because, you know, for the graph of tangent, you see here, it looks something like this. So, this one, this one. You see here, it's approaching the line, but not really approaching. And we don't really know what is the maximum. So, it don't have amplitude. Okay, number of cycle period. So, we know that this one is from 90 to 270. So we see here the repeating part is 180. So you have to know that sine and cos 360, tangent is 180. So here, you see here 2 here. So 2 is B, right? So 180 divided by 2. Now you get 90. So tangent to X, the period is 90. Okay, so this one I made a mistake. So 120 is to get the same shape, right? So this one, the shape is something like this, 360 for sine. So we know that this one, we only need up to 120 to get the same, to get the same graph. So that means for this one, the full cycle, we get 3 cycle for 360. And this one, 90 per cycle. So for 360, we have for cycle period so here translation you see this one is going up by one so this one is one so here to sketch so we start with tangent to x first so for tangent to x so okay i'm just now tangent x first lah so tangent x we know that this one is 90 so here so up and this one, right? Where this one is 90 and this one is 270. So when you have tangent x, 
Now, instead of, of 180, it becomes 90. So, here, this one is y is equal to tangent x. So, when tangent to x is 90, so you divide everything with 2. So, this one, 90 will become at 45. So, here, so you see here, divided by 2. So, this one will become 90. So, something like this. And then, this one, up, down, up. This one would be down. Okay, this one is pi or 180. Okay. So, here is tangent to x. This is y is equal to tangent to x. But then, you see here, to x. Tangent. 2x. But then you see here we have modulus function here. So here now is where we added the modulus tangent 2x which is equal to. So everything negative will become positive. So here we have 90 90 or pi over 2 right. So 90 is pi over 2. So this one is pi over 4. So this one is 3 pi over 4. And yeah, this one is pi. So we see here from 0 to pi over 4 is going up so it doesn't matter. But this one from from pi over 4 to pi over 2 or 45 to 90 you see here is going down. So it's supposed to be something like this because it's modulus and this one is something like this and then you see here this one is going down right. So modulus is going up. So you have tangent to x. So now y is equal to tangent to x plus 1. So everything is shifted by 1. So you see here the graph here. So instead of starting from 0, it will start from 1. But this one the stay the same. This is pi over 4. And this one is 3 pi over 4. So this one would be start from 1. This one also start from 1. And this one start from 1. So this is how the graph looks like. Okay.